Hey guys, so it's me Kiani. Today's video is going to feature this look, definitely making the eyes the focal point. I created an amazing wing liner and a very, very strong lip, some amazing dewy skin. And if you want to see how I created this look, stay tuned and I'll show you. For this look, I'm actually going to use the Naked 3 palette. I absolutely positively love this palette. And I think I want to create something that's a little bit um, bronzy, very, very dewy, allow my lips to be the statement. I have a lot of shimmer going on and I think we could actually make this look pop. So in order to do that, I'm going to grab my medium brown Jordana pencil and I'm actually going to create the structure of the eye. I'm actually going to start at the exterior by my lash line and pull out. This is going to act as a nice guideline on how far out I want the eyeshadow to go. Same thing on the other side. Now, I've created the trace. Can you see that? And what I want to do is use this pencil to really, really guide me with creating the structure. Tiny, tiny brush strokes. The reason I'm using a pencil is because it's much easier to clean up than using a liquid. If I'm using a black, it's much harder. If you use a brown, it fades much more seamlessly. So therefore, I know that this is the structure of the shape that I'm going to create. Although I'm using very, very neutral colors, it still gives a little bit of drama, something that's very easy, almost mistake proof. Now I know where the shape is going to reside. Before I begin, I'll actually want to use my uninterrupted. This is a flat shadow, and I'm going to grab my small tapered blending brush, the E45 by Sigma, and I'm really just going to kind of buff this color out just a little bit. Mainly concentrating on removing the skip from the pencil. What I want to do right now is choose this shade called Buzz. This is the shade. It's super duper shimmery. It's kind of chunky, but I'm just going to allow it to lay right on my lid. This is the shade that I want to go with. Very, very coppery and blend it up. Same thing on the other side, and you notice I'm using my finger. I've created a very big perimeter. So I know just to stay inside the lines. Now, I want to go in with the shade called Factory. This is the shade, Factory. I'm going to grab my tapered blending brush. It's the E35 by Sigma. And I'm just going to create a little bit of intensity around my cut crease. Now with the buzz, it creates more of a pink undertone. I think it creates a little bit of drama. Now I want to go in a shade called Trick and just lay that right on top of the buzz. And what that does is neutralizes the pink and takes it into more of a bronzier. And just blend that out. You notice I'm just layering it on, layering it on. Gonna move on with a shade called Black. Black Slide is kind of a gray and just to really, really create a little bit more of a smokier effect on the top. And just blend that out. Now, Remember I started with the uninterrupted? What I want to do with that is just really, really, really flatten this look out just a little bit. The Naked 3 palette has a lot of shimmery shades, but I still go back in with a lot of my um, flatter shades just to kind of blend out. Uninterrupted at the moment is one of my favorites. And 
go in and clean up with your concealer. What I want to do now is grab your favorite black cold pencil. Just rub the inner waterline. Same thing on the other side. And create you a tiny wing with your pencil. Nothing too, too dramatic. We want this look to be nice and glowy and really let your lips be the statement same thing on the other side Now, to make this look a little bit more intense, I'm going to grab my cream liner by Wet n Wild. Also, more my Japanese brush. And I'm actually going to follow the line that I've already created with my eyeliner. Perfect wing. Same thing on the other side. Allow your pencil to be your guide. a little bit. These colors are so rich, so chunky. They're, I think they will probably have a little bit of fallout. And just flatten them out just like so. Very, you know, Holiday. Very festive, very shimmery. Now, let's add the lashes. I've applied my lashes. I'm going to come back and apply just a little bit of my voluminous false fiber lashes. Just going to apply a little bit at the top. Definitely some on the bottom. I'm just going to grab my Passion Lip Gloss by Motives. Just add a little bit of added shimmer. There you have it, my holiday cheer look. This is something that I think I'll actually wear on Christmas Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Follow me, love underscore Kiani. You'll see where I'm wearing all these amazing looks. Make sure you leave your comments below, likes and dislikes. Anything that you have that you would like for me to produce, any of the videos that you would like to see, because this channel is created by me for you. That's all we have for now. Now it's time for my quick, quick close-up.
until next time, loves and kisses, happy holidays. <laughs>